Hi, I'm James from Belgium Oak. I'm going to talk to you briefly about something called Iris. This is a software package we use to help with our coaching side of things. Okay? <coughs> so Iris, we mainly use it for better teacher reflection, observation and feedback, coaching and mentoring, and social sharing across different curriculum areas. So the idea is to create effective teachers through our reflective practice, and I'm just going to go through a few ways that I've used it. You do need to be brave when you're this the first time watching your own self back. You do hesitate and think of yourself in a different way. And I notice a few words I always pick up on. But you can use it for a range of things. So this was A-level exam technique. I got them to work around in groups. I put the microphone on the desk so I was picking up on the language they were using whilst going through this. So it helps you to draw out more information from them to get them from that GCSE language up to the required A-level language they're using. Also in science, we do required practicals. So when we're giving feedback after we've done a required practical, you can sit with the pupils, go through the techniques, and they can see there, whilst you're going through it, what I'm on about, what they're seeing, and how they're going to improve it next time. I've then done it for behavior learning with a co-teacher. So we had a challenging group. We were together, we videoed it, we got together, we worked out some strategies, and we sat down. And over time, the behavior in that class got better and throughout the year it did get a nice class to teach and that was just through co-collaboration with my co-teacher building on those behaviour for learning strategies. This one again, collaborative learning, this was extended writing opportunities that have come into our GCSE <coughs> as you know. So this was really sitting with the groups, working around with the groups, they were inputting with each other, again the microphone was on the table so again you're picking up on the language. And then when you were reflecting with the small little groups, they are able to pick up on the language others were using, which worked really effectively. This one was me challenging myself. I set up a debate, never done it before in a class. They went away and researched for and against stem cell research. I got three pupils to run it. I then videoed it and sent it to another, pupil, another teacher that's got more experience in this than I could have feedback on how I can improve it next time. This one again, this is cross-curriculum collaboration this time. I was, I'm a physics teacher, I had to teach vectors in math, in uh, physics at the beginning of year 11, knowing they'd already done it in maths. So this maths teacher videoed herself teaching vectors. I could then watch the video back to keeping a consistent approach for our year 11 learners. And because we don't always have time to go and see other teachers teach, it's nice, quick, it's just a short, sharp way of doing it. And I was able to look at it and then feed back to her as well, so we could come up with something consistent for the next year as well. This one was one of our successful A level students, got an A in chemistry. So before he left, Miss Murray and I got into video what, how we became successful, and then we could play that back to the year 12 students to get them into good learning behaviour, ready for A level and all focusing on the independent learning. So again, it's a message straight from the students, instead of us giving them and going, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. If it comes straight from the student, they've got an A that's successful, it's more impactful that way. This one, student teacher, Lewis. Okay, I work with Lewis as a student teacher. It's good when they're going through their PGCE and their journey, when we're giving them feedback, they can look at what we're on about, and then when we set the next targets for them, they can see clearly what we're pushing towards that way. And then finally for myself, is those coaching conversations. For me this year, I'm going to be focusing on questioning techniques. I'm going to video myself. I'll be then working with Tina. Tina will be then reflecting <coughs> and will be working way through to improve my uh, questioning techniques in class to draw out more information. So my key bits from this was I reflect more on my practice and develop more effective teacher behaviours. I successfully guided training teachers through their courses straight into jobs at the end of the course and results in both physics at GCSE and A-level have improved since I've started using IRIS. So be brave. If you don't have IRIS, you can always video yourself. That's how I started off, with just using a video camera. It is hard to watch yourself back for the first time, but go for it. That's all I can say.